Welcome to my cave in the canyons, everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the RV and just live in the mountains. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I do have a confession to make. Didn't film anything yesterday, and I had a really good day. And I literally didn't bring the camera out once. Spent the night here out at Box Canyon in California. This is BLM land, and I can honestly say this was something brand new for me. I have never camped in a canyon before. Um, and it's really, really pretty there's like nobody out here well there's cars driving by but it's pretty darn quiet just masses and masses of rock canyons to explore with neat little trails look at this feels like utah almost the only strange thing about camping in the canyons is the sun seems to go down earlier because of the high walls and it takes a little longer in the morning for the sun to appear. You can see my rig there. Yeah, California, BLM land, 14 day maximum stay. There's my rig and there's where Angela's camping. The only real tricky part was getting somewhat level out here. I don't know how you, you can see how low my rear end is. And then I'm over a little, I guess you'd kind of call it a wash. And then my front tire's up. That's, that's the only way I could do it. But uh, it works. Look at this place. Back over here in the shade. Actually, this morning, before uh, the sun crept over that, I actually hopped on the bike and was uh, rolling through parts of this. It's a lot of fun to ride through on, on this dirt on the bike. It's a beautiful spot here, a spot where a lot of people would be perfectly happy to just be out here in the quiet. Because this is so different than like a place like Slab City or something where there's just so many people around. You have a whole canyon to yourself here at Box Canyon. But you guys know me, I just, I can't sit anywhere. It doesn't matter how beautiful or amazing the spot is, there's something in me that is going to always want to change it up and see something new. So made some great memories out here and I'm going to spend another night here tonight before moving on but um, I do have some things planned for the day so I'm going to hop on the bike and ride about 12 miles see what we can find here well actually I have two helmets and I can haul a passenger so I'm going to take Angela into town and we'll get a bite to eat We found a place for uh, lunch. I went with the uh, Mexican burger. Actually, it's a normal burger. Angela's got some uh, breakfast over there. We'll get grub and then we'll go hang out, see what we can find. Yeah, lunch was good. And guess what? We scored. Look at this weird creature. Would you believe it? 
International Banana Museum. So we had the International uh, Peanut Festival thing in Georgia earlier in last year. And we'll go check this out. See, it's a legit thing. Guinness World Record Collection. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Banana everything in here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go bananas. Hmm. Look, there's Slab City magnets and monkey magnets. So I got a chocolate banana shake and she's got a frozen chocolate covered banana. Chocolate soda. Had to take a few sips just to make sure. That is actually really tasty. Chocolate banana soda. Not bad, not bad. I'll see what I can do about giving you guys some GPS coordinates below of the banana museum there. And uh, again, I will give you a GPS to where I'm at right here. Go feed Jack's lunch. Kept the fan on there for Jack's man. How did you do without me? Yeah? I counted the minutes, Dad. It's time for lunch. Are you about 82% sure it's time for lunch? You are? Yeah, look at you. Look at you and the belly. Yeah. You hungry? Oh, I thought so. Okay. Go ahead. Eat him up. <laughs> Quick look at the uh, magnet board here. <laughs> and the new ones. Crazy Monkey. It says International Banana Museum on him. And there's where I put my Slab City Salvation Mountain one. That's a huge magnet compared to some others, but oh, I like it. It's, I like the unique stuff, right? Sweet. Also want to chat with you guys about a few things real quick. Just some housekeeping stuff here. In case you haven't noticed, I am back on Instagram, everybody. Under the same URL, it's just instagram.com slash or backslash nomadicfanatic.tv. And there is a link in the video description below. There is also a direct link on my YouTube homepage uh, right next to my website, nomadicfanatic.tv, where I pin all the locations on a big map for you. Um, I'm still never going to go back to Facebook because it's just way too much and it's not fun. But uh, Instagram is a really neat way for me to be creative with my photography. And as many of you have noticed, it's also a preview for YouTube. In other words, one day before the video comes out, Instagram, you'll see a pre preview picture of some sort or two or three of what's to come in the next video. So it's a way of uh, getting the inside look, I guess. Um, it would be great if I could get some of my 130,000 plus YouTube subscribers over to Instagram to follow me there as well. That would mean a lot to me, guys. Look at the backside of this canyon. Woo! Um, let's see, a couple other things real quick. I have named my bike, kind of by accident. Uh, it's a Yamaha TW200, and so I have chosen to name my Yamaha Yama Llama, all one word. So if you guys hear me talk about Yoda or Yama Llama, you'll know I'm talking about my RV or my, or my bike. And the other thing is, um, I, okay, I realized that, uh, prior to this, I had been hanging out with a lot of other people and mostly YouTubers, uh, like thousands of people, literally thousands, not hundreds, but thousands of people at RTR had YouTube channels and were vlogging from RTR. Um, hundreds of people at Slab City. It has been really tricky for me to do my own thing since leaving for two reasons. One, think of it this way. Think of, think of Quartzsite and Slab City as like a beehive of YouTubers, right? Well, if you pour water on that beehive and we all scatter, we're all gonna scatter together still. I mean, there's still a bunch of different directions you can go, but no matter what, you're gonna, there's just no way of not being surrounded by other YouTubers. And so people are saying that they're either tired of it or that I'm copying other people or that I'm 
following other people or that, Eric, we already saw this. Like, you guys realize I don't know that, right? I don't watch all these other thousands of channels. So if they've already been here to Box Canyon, <laughs> before I made this video, I have no, I did not know that, okay? Um, I, I would have no way of knowing that. And, and I don't want to know that because I want everything to be unique to me and my channel and my experiences. So I don't want to base that off of what somebody else shared. So, um, but soon <laughs> I'm going to have to move a little more than 30 miles a day to get far enough away so that I can do my own unique thing. And when I say soon, I mean, it's going to happen really quick. And I, I have mentioned that I need to take care of a couple things back home. One of those things is to get license plates for the bike in Washington state. And when that title arrives in my post office box and I get confirmation, I'm going to have to plan a trip back up to the Northwest, even in the cold. And then from there, I do have some really neat, exciting news and plans. Uh, you guys are going to have a lot of fun following Jax and I this spring. But with that said, I appreciate your patience, guys, and um, doing the best I can here. So. What the? What is this? Is she moving in already? I'm a Bud Light guy. You can't change me. Actually, that has a lot more flavor than Bud Light. Hmm. Okay, maybe you can change me. You guys have a good day. Jackson, I'll see you in a couple days. Bye-bye.